One year ago, they played a classic in London, and now the most dominant pair of brothers in Crokno has met again. The finals of the 2013 Golden Horseshoe Crokno Tournament is coming up next. Good day and thank you for joining us. We are here at the Cornerstone Canadian Reformed Church in Hamilton, Ontario. And we are ready to watch the finals between Jason Beerling and Raymond Beerling for the title of the Golden Horseshoe Crokino Tournament. Jason Beerling on the left starts off with a hanger and Ray Beerling makes no mistake on his first shot of the game. Jason leveling the score. And now Ray lips out, and Jason makes no mistake. Ray now ties the 20 count at two shots apiece, five shots remaining for both players. And Jason goes long. Ray doesn't get the takeout he wanted, or maybe he's put it in just a good enough spot. Jason couldn't get a takeout either. Although that disc was in a tough spot. All he could do was try and rebound for a 20. Decent attempt from Jason. This is a complex board now. A mistake could cost either player the round. Two shots remaining for both players. Jason has an opportunity. Oh, and what a beautiful touch from Jason. He just had to kiss his own disc, and he sent it just barely into the 20 hole. Last shot left here for Jason. Oh, and he rolls his disc right out of the house. He's up at 20, but right now with the very last shot of the round, all he needs to do is roll into the house. And he does, scoring the 20, tying the 20 count at three 20s each but winning with his 15 points on the board. And Ray Beerling takes a 2-0 lead in this best of three final. Ray to start off the second round. He'll go long. Both players having a little bit of trouble finding their range now. Great shot from Jason to hide, find a post. But a very interesting shot there from Ray, trying to get his disc back into the middle without wasting too many at the start. Great double takeout from Ray Beerling. Five shots remaining for both players in this round. Good play from Ray there. He didn't get exactly what he wanted, but he got enough that now he has control of the board again. He will have control of his own fate in this round. He has an opportunity to perhaps find the angle here to redirect his own disc into the 20 hole. He gets very close, but he leaves a hanger. But Jason can't convert. Three shots left for both players. No 20s scored so far this round. Reanalyzing his options. He's either looking at trying to score a 20 through a follow through here, maybe get a double takeout, or maybe even get both. And he gets that follow through that he wanted. Scoring a 20. And now Jason misses. Big opportunity for Ray. Ray goes up by two 20s. Jason just now trailing by one last shot left for both players. And Jason will have an opportunity if he can hit a follow through here to tie the round. Jason can't do it, and Ray Beerling goes up 4 0 in game one. Some great stuff from Ray Beerling in that round. He made the 20s when he needed them. And now 
He is very close to winning the first game of this best of three match. He's already up 120 with the hammer advantage. Oh, and his roll at attempt there went too far. Let's Jason back into the round. For Jason to have an opportunity of winning this round, he will need Ray to make the first mistake here. Uh, but Jason gives up another hanger. And Ray Beerling sealing the door shut to this first game. Two shots remaining for both players. Now they've really found their range. The end of this first game, last shot of the round. Ray Beerling takes the third round by a score of 7 to 5 in the 20s. And he wins the game 6 nothing. Great start for Ray Beerling as they switch ends. Prepare for game two.